Alrighty. So, like I was saying, yeah, I'm more, uh, and I said I don't pray because, well, needless to say, I, I don't need to pray to anybody. In fact, you could say sometimes people pray to me, James. Ah, oh, fuck me dead. I see. That is quite the, uh, the change of pace, Mr. Tinklebottom. Either way, this is still to save your life, whether you think it is or not. So, one more time, let us try again. Look at the fucking view. It's a good one to view before I die. Who said you were going to die, James? I wasn't lying when I said I'd take you to the doctor. It's only one thing. And that is death, James. Only death. It's cold. I see and you feel. And the blood does slip away from you. And then you just fade away. Your consciousness gone forever. There is no angels that come and save your soul. Just the cold end. But, like I said, there is a god. And his name is Death. And it's unfortunate. And you had to meet him. <laughs> Just the one may not be convincing enough. Wait, what actually just happened? Come on! Take your licks like a man! No, no, no. Take your licks like a man! You want another? You want a potato? Huh? What are you gonna lawyer yes, me to do? Hey, how about perfect. we just... How about we just... Look at that over there. Right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. How about we just look at that? Mm -hmm. That right there. Mm -hmm. That. You see it? You look at that? I see it. <laughs> Goodbye, Albert. There he is. No, right there. Hit him with the car. Hit him with the car. <laughs> All right. Fire a taser. <laughs> uh, Those were police. I want to go this way. Why are you going only 70? Quit being a punk. I have a job to, uh, job to keep me over. Job? You don't lose your job for a speeding ticket, you push push. Give me your keys, I'll show you how to drive like a real man with real testicles. We arrived on this day, uh, Tuesday, January 1st, and we enter Melbourne taunting- That's one of these telephone poles. I pulled a car through the sky and landed on top of the telephone pole and I f the f car fell down on the ground upside down and flipped over and I drove away and I got away and never went to jail or nothing because I'm the best. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Melbert, uh, what would you... Get out of my car. Can I drive? Get out of my car. What, are you just leaving me here? Get out of 
of my car. Why? Why? Because I said so. Okay. Huh. <laughs> hey. Huh. I can't get out. You're, you're moving too fast. Melbourne, look, look, look at me. Get out of the car. I'm looking. I'm looking. Robert, but you're moving too fast. Get out of the car. Robert, what do you mean? Get out of the, get out of the car. Robert, what do you mean? Get out of the car. Get out of the. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Did that hurt, Melbert? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> pointy, thank you for the follow. Gas? I don't need gas right now. I'm good for a while. If we can't find old Melbert. Fucking problem, huh? Where's that gun now, Norman? Where's that pea shooter now, Norman? Where is it, Norman? Uh, where's that gun now, Norman? Where's that gun now, Norman? Where is it? Where's that gun, Norman? Where's the fucking gun, Norman? What are you gonna do now, Norman? What are you gonna... Huh? What are you gonna do now, you fucking yellow bellied bell? You've been alive for a long time. I considered you smarter than this. But all in due time. Death comes for us all eventually, Melbert. Even if you think it doesn't. Fragile. You'll not make that mistake again, Melbert. Never again.
thing. I will put two to the back of your skull. Oh, mate, I'm just getting rid of my phone there. There you go. Stand up, face the end of the there boat. There you go, mate. The end of the boat? Okay. All right, mate. This way? All right, right, all right, right mate. There is fine. Just relax. Do not move. All right, I'm not, not moving, mate. Just don't, don't shoot. Let's not do anything yeah, hasty, mate. I just like... One eventuality. And that is death. Oh, yeah? Thank you, DS. Oh, well, I mean... Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. Everyone dies eventually, right? Hmm. Tell me, Mikey, what so, is something uh, that you've always wanted to do before you died? Before I died? Oh, oh. Uh, before I died. Okay. Can I have a minute to think about this? There's a lot I haven't done yet. Mm. I've always wanted to jump out of a plane. That's always that's always been a dream of mine. Um, I've always wanted to father children. Never done that yet. Um, I've never ridden the tricycle. Always wanted to ride the tricycle. Mm. You ever in the tricycle, sir? Mr. Brody. Or. Mr. Brody. How old are you, Mr. Diaz? Uh, I'm, I'm 23 in August. How long did you plan on living? Oh, I was hoping to at least 60. A real hopeful one, then, aren't you? Well, I mean, you know, in law enforcement, you never know. Your life could be cut short at any moment, but, you know. And what about your mother, Mikey? Yeah, well, I mean, she'd, she'd like to live me, see me live until 60. You know, no parent wants to see their kid dead, right? Do you think that she would miss you? Well, um, would your mother miss you? I killed my mother and my father. Oh, fuck. All right, well, probably the answer to that question is probably fucking no then, right? I well, suppose. I think my mother would miss me. She probably wouldn't miss Jose, but she'd probably miss me. Hmm. So, uh... I you, see. uh... Killed your parents. What'd they do? I did. They kept me locked in a cold room. Physically, mentally, abused me until I was old enough to actually do something about it. So they locked you in a freezer and then mm. beat you. Did your parents You're love like... you, Mikey? Well, yeah, obviously, because my parents weren't fucking sadistic. Unfortunately. But, uh, you reckon, uh, you reckon we could, uh, you reckon we could go back now? I, I kind of, I've seen the boat. It's a good boat. It's, the shore's right over there, mate. It's, it's not that far. Are you we religious, Mr. Go over there. Oh, nah, I mean, not really. Kind of an atheist. My, my mum was religious. What god did your mother believe in? Well, g God, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, the one true God, I suppose. The one that is benevolent and forgiving, correct? Y yeah, uh, I, I guess so. That'd be the one, right? She was Catholic. There is only one God, and his name is Death. Ah! Ah, fuck! Look. It's just a last little soul. Last little soul trying to figure out who he is, where he's going, what his purpose should be aside from law enforcement. Now he can be lost at sea. Give his own thoughts. And now 
his own death. But the cat, though. Mm -hmm. Listen, you guys, you guys don't even know. That was just like, you know, that was a, a naive, a naive victim that satiating Norman's thirst for death. Uh, that was a naive victim satiating Norman's thirst for death. Who's this? All you gotta have is this scary voice. Hmm. Who do we- I get. I get a freaking $50 check every month from the state. For what? I've been treated poorly. I've been kicked on. I've been abused. I'm not gonna take it no more. Mm, I see. Oh, you feel you've been wronged by your government and you wish to get back at it. Become something here. We are. You know, I, I, well, this isn't exactly what I was thinking of, you know. I mean, are you going to do this to a guy that served his country, came here out of despair from the hardships that he's had with his spouse to try to find a new life and... Now you're going to bring me into this cave here. You're viewing yeah. this as a negative experience. Is this because I talked about you touching my hang down? No, 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 no. You think that this is a negative experience. The handcuffs, I suppose, put that sort of mentality over your head, but I promise you it will not be that. Well, I mean, I can't think of anything of a negative than that because you took my wallet out of my pocket and took my money from me. And you put me in handcuffs rather than us just walking in here together. Yes, right, of course. You exist. Do you know their name? I do not know the name of the child, no. All I know is that possibly might be living in... I'm not telling you anything, and I can't... No, I'm not telling you anymore, because... Whoa, what it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's let's talk about this. I've got mm. I've got a trip. So so very much. I'm going to let you know that there is no omnipotent forgiving God. There is only one God. His name is Death, and He walks among you. Do you understand? I do understand. Your last yes, words, Zebra, quickly. Use them wisely. Thank you. Thank you. You are so very welcome. Easy, Mr. Zebra. He deserved what he got, whether he sees it or not. Hmm. Let's begin, shall we? Watch his reaction. His, the people's reaction is always so fun. Hold on. I want to see what, uh, what he thought of it. That was awesome. That was probably, that, that was probably the best RP scene that I have ever been involved in. Aww. By, by far, hands down. That was the best. Ah. Even though I died, that was the best. Stop it. Like, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, no, he did incredible, so absolutely. Oh, I got chills, too, in that. Oh, my God. That's Oof. great, man. Hell yeah. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad he had a good time. Um, yeah, man. Still, still. I'm glad he had a good time. Follow him. I'll do it right now. Alright, chat. Here. Oh. I believe I will meet my father. Hmm. 
Let's see. It's a pretty view, isn't it, Lise? Is it a view worth last moments? I suppose. Please, there is only one God. His name is Death. Unfortunate. I'm sure you will be missed by many. There are some who would be glad to see you gone, Miss Gray. I, however, am not one of them. But death does come for us all in the end. that we're going to deal with. That's a whole nother story in and of itself. Uh, but after a while, you know, Lise eventually confessed to Norman that, you know, she had killed her father and she doesn't really, you know, her purpose was, you know, askew and she doesn't really, you know, know where to go. And Norman was kind of that lead for her. And, you know, he kind of guided her towards, you know, death. Like it is implied that death was inevitable and it is the only thing that matters. Death 
changed nothing. No, it, it did, but I, I don't know, man. I am half tempted to keep you and have a religion. What do you believe happened to Richard? And he's just gone into nothingness. I believe that he's six feet under the ground in a fucking graveyard where I should be instead. Okay. But his soul... What happened to his soul, Elizabeth? Is it just gone, faded into nothing? No, man! His soul is with me, okay? Because I'm the only one who really knew him that well. That's where I want to live so I can keep, keep his soul alive, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you want from me? Are you saying Richard still lives within you? I hope he does. I hope he's not mad at me. Even a god. Oh god, please. Please don't kill me, please. I swear I won't say anything. Please don't kill me, man. I'll do anything you want. Whatever you want, man. I'll give you everything. I'll, I'll sob. I'll stop doing whatever it is I'm doing that upsets you. Please. Please, please. I'm begging you. I'm, I'm begging you to spare my life. I won't say anything. Can you feel my breath behind you? Yes. There is only one God. His name is Death. It is unfortunate that Richard dies twice with you. Oh dear, Wh where are we going? Just a little further is all. Oh, uh, I, 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 are you, are you about to waterboard me? Yes, um, yes, it's, I've had some training, but I'm, I'm really, really not fond of it. Like, would, you, would you mind if, if we didn't do that? Yes. No, Paul. Oh dear. There is only one God. His name is Death, and it is very unfortunate that you met him today. Wait, 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 I, I... Chicken tendies, Claire. God, yeah, and I love chicken tendies. They're so good. You are something else, Miss Sedusa. 
What do you mean? Is that like a good thing or a bad thing? You can take that however you like. I'll take it as a good thing. Wonderful. So where are we headed? So tell me a little bit more about yourself, Claire. Well, I uh, learned how to play the kazoo. Did you know that you're supposed to blow the kazoo on the bigger end and not the smaller end? Because that was news to me. I thought everybody knew that. Apparently not. Do you have your kazoo? Why, yes, I do. Play me a song, Claire. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Is that all? I'm still learning, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to play, honestly. <clears throat> Is that your best attempt? I believe you were just humming into it. Isn't that how you play the kazoo? <laughs> now that I think about it, I've never actually played the kazoo. See? Into it. Isn't that how you play the kazoo? <laughs> now that I think about it, I've never actually played the kazoo. See? Listen, I was- I've been playing it wrong my entire life, so, you know. How would you know Just... you don't remember what you had for breakfast? Oh my god, Drew! Wait! Did I play it right the rest of the language? Yes, I'm glad you picked up on that. Thanks, I'm kinda smart. You wouldn't know. What is that supposed to mean? You can take that as an insult or you can take it as a fact. What the fuck? I don't know how to take that, but regardless. Hmm. You're very intrigued. Did. Are, are you calling me smelly? Are you serious? Go on. Go on. Take, take a whiff. I don't smell at all. Go on. Alright. Bring your hands together, what Claire. What the fuck? There we whoa, go. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I said sniff. Is this like, I don't know if this is like your kinky play. Like, listen, I mean, I could be into this if you want to be into this. No, Claire, I am not in to your handcuffs. Uh, uh. You see, Claire, I am of the same mindset. Whenever someone dies, they are gone, removed from existence. However, we do differ in one area. As I am a bit more religious. Oh, are you into like knife play or something? I, I don't know if I'm really into that. There is what the f only one God. What? His uh name is Death. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh! <laughs> it was funny. I've never had someone make me laugh as hard as Banana just did. Holy shit, that was so difficult to like keep that shit in. Oh my god. Oh, Banana's goddamn funny. You seem to have terrible, terrible luck, Fiona. Oh yeah, I have terrible luck. It's fine, I'm, I'm getting. Actually, I would say I'm used to it, but I'm not. I tend to be targeted a lot. That is unfortunate. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I'm just... Just put myself out there, I guess. I don't know. I to do everything. I got a second wet, right? Alright. It's not something you enjoy talking about. No, not really. 
Mind your when business. You, when you want to get when you want to get away from something, you don't really want to talk about it ever again, okay? No. I... What's your backstory? Well, I moved here to Los Santos because I lived in a place that was very cold. Yeah, I don't fucking speak French, mate. Um, yeah, I got that as well, potentially. But then I kind of gave up because we never kind of... We never did anything again after that, so I couldn't really get any more information. I see. Hmm. I found out he was potentially targeting people who had animal surnames. It was really weird. What is your last name, Fiona? Stuart. Distrusting most people. It is the safer way to live. What do you mean? Well, if you don't trust anybody, it is a lot more difficult to get hurt. Yeah, I feel like I kind of do that subconsciously. Mm. But then again, people are assholes. Agreed. Mm. No, I know a few, few people now. Um, who else? I don't know. Tripper Snow. Mm. And Dante. They're always nice to me. And what do you make of me, Fiona? I think you're very mysterious. Hmm. What is easy for them to grab? Don't answer that. Okay, I won't answer my phone. Quite like answering my phone. I'm sure you are. Do you find me? I've gotten myself in quite a predicament. Like you always do, evidently. So, what's your reason for this? Hmm. What's your excuse? It's almost like you've become numb. I've become what? Numb. Like you... Numb. You've been... Hmm. <laughs> what does make you happy then, Fiona? Not being stabbed. Quite a good one. You're going to have to think of something better than that. Fiona. Yeah. If you could tell your yeah. friends, your family, uh -huh. one last thing before you took that step, what would you say? I tell them that I love them and everything will be okay. You said you exist on that ledge. <laughs> Let me help you off of it. said all the right things. If I were anybody else, that would have worked. The difference between me and you is I do believe in a God. And his name is death. Rest well, Fiona. Huh? 
<clears throat> all right what are we what are we thinking here all right uh so we got kidnapped they stole everything including our phone your ad was in the yellow pages uh here in this phone booth and i need a ride up north <laughs> Not bad. Or, hmm, also. the lighthouse Ooh. Hey <clears throat> Barnes will be driver Hello, Mr. Burns. Uh, I'm afraid I'm in need of a ride. You see, I was recently, uh, robbed, and they, uh, they nabbed everything I had. I see you're right here in this phone booth, so I figured I'd give you a ring. Uh, is there any way you can... Absolutely. Is there any way yeah, you could uh, get me back to where I needed to go? Of course, of course. Uh, just send me, send me your location to, uh, cab number 90, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, take care. I'll be right there. <clears throat> I needed a wide. That was a bit close there, don't you think? Close to what? Hitting. Yes. Uh. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, where to, sir? I have to, uh, they pick me up up north if you just head up north on Sonora. How you doing? I'm BD Barnes, real good driver. Good to, good to meet you, Mr. Barnes. Uh, Barnes. Barnes. That's right. What's your name? Joseph. Joseph? Nice to meet you, Joseph. I like your, your hat and your glasses. I appreciate it. Are you usually one to ignore the traffic signals? Uh, what traffic signal? I see. If you don't mind, I'm afraid I have a weak stomach. If you could be a bit slower. The Gosh. speed limit's fine. Not, you're not that slow. Unfortunately, I think my cruise control is broken. So uh, I'm just going to be pumping it for a little bit. Right. right. Uh, what's uh what's wrong with your stomach if you don't mind me asking uh, it's it's weak i'm afraid i uh i get car sick very easily oh i'm sorry to hear that you're new in town pd um i uh i moved here maybe like a month ago i see are you new in town no i'm afraid i've been around a very very long time how come you don't have a car then? Oh, I did. I got robbed. Oh, well, that's right. What'd they take from you? Any good? My phone, my money. Um, I had a, uh, I had a watch. They took that as well. Oh, no. It's all right. Anyhow, you may 
make any friends, PD? Uh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a real nice guy. So, um, some people are nice to me, some not so much, but, you know, it's expected. It's a crazy city. It is a crazy city, I agree. I tend to avoid the uh, chaos that is downtown most of the time. Yeah, uh, yeah, those poor police officers, you know. Mm. I mean, yeah. granted, half the time they don't do anything anyway, but, uh, they always want to run in circles, that's for sure. So, you know, yeah. gotta feel bad for them. Seems like. You have any family, PD? Uh, I do, I do. Um, but they're all back home. I see. My mom put me in, uh, she got me this bow tie, put me on a plane, said, go trace your dreams and aspirations. So I here see. I am. And what are your dreams and aspirations exactly? Here in Los Angeles. I want to be a train driver. A train driver? Mm-hmm. What interests you about the trains? I love trains. They are uh, pretty much unstoppable force. You're not wrong about that. You ever see a puppy get hit by a train? No, no, I haven't. You don't want to. Disturbing, I'd imagine. Oh um, intriguing, but yeah, it's a mess. Intriguing. I'd say for most people that would be almost traumatic. Oh shit, we're gonna take a little bit of a bumpy road here. Sorry, I got, uh, I took a long time. Yeah, uh, well, it wasn't my puppy, right? It was actually, and it was one of those little puppies that are just constantly yipping. So honestly, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but, uh, it's still sad because, you know, it's a puppy. Alright, of course. So, you moved to Los Santos all by yourself in dreams of becoming a conductor? Uh, they're not conductors, they're engineers. I see. But yes. That's exciting. Yeah, I thought so. so I got off the plane and uh, got kidnapped. That sounds like Los Santos, unfortunately. Well, they were nice about it. And then, uh, I was able to scam $11,000 off the police officer who, uh, saved me, so. I see. Is that, uh, usually your, uh, MO? No, I was being honest. They just misunderstood me, so they gave me way too much money. Right, right. Uh, where exactly do you need to go? Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. Uh, how well do you know the island, PD? Not at all. Alright, I'm afraid we're uh, going in the complete opposite direction that we needed to go in, but that's alright. Easy peasy, well, easy fix. There you go. Just don't blow up in the car. I got baggies if you want. That's quite all right. I appreciate it. Um, you see my GPS here? I do. If you want, uh, you can just reach up and uh, just tap on the map where you want to go. And it's crazy. The technology, it just... There you are. Oh, perfect. You used to have to, like, punch in addresses and whatnot, but now you just touch it. Yeah. The technology is uh, incredible. It amazes me every day. It really, really is. That's, honestly, though, that's a one a one of the reasons why I like planes is because it's old school. It's uh, you know, old. Right. Well, that's the kind of twenty I want to drive. Have you ever contemplated your life's purpose, PD? Uh, yeah, all the time. 
What do you feel you're meant to achieve? A, a real good train driver. Just drive trains. That's all you feel your purpose is. Drive trains, be nice to people, uh, pay it forward. I see. Yeah. Like, uh, sometimes if I get a little bit bored driving the taxi, uh, my friends in purple, they taught me how to bring medicine to, uh, to terminate, terminally uh, ill people. So I do that every once in a while. I see. I pick up people who get robbed because I know what it's like. I don't really charge fares. I just let people pay what they want. I figure, you know, too many people are trying to scam people. Right. That's uh, it's definitely a thing that occurs. Oh, so when people say how much do I owe you, I say whatever you feel is necessary. That's quite uh, generous of you. Yeah, you know, it makes people go, oh, okay, all right, well, who's this guy? He's a nice guy. And I say, yes, you know, change in Los Santos, one smile at a time. It's very noble pursuit, PD. Well, it's a side hustle, really, getting the smiles. Really, all I care about is playing Wilder. I see. But what? it's nice. It gets the, it gets me past, you know, all the violence and horrible things that happen in the city. And your parents, would they be proud of you? Uh, I think my mom would. Why not your father? Uh, he, um, he's always been disappointed, really. He always calls me too naive and I'm too dumb. But I'm not dumb. I'm smart. I don't know why he gets upset about me either doing something or not doing something. Oh, is this your house? It's a nice place, right? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I, uh, I enjoy staying up this way. Oh, you made a, uh, a pumpkin scarecrow with, uh, with a block. That's interesting. Yeah. Can I, uh, can I see your garden? Sure, if you'd like. Take a look around. Yeah. It's a lot of pumpkins. Uh, I do like my pumpkins. I sell them every now and again. Don't tell me you're the pumpkin king. No, not the pumpkin king. Name that movie. Nightmare Before Christmas or uh, no, Charlie Brown. You shouldn't doubt yourself. You had it right the first time. No, you got me. Oh, these are the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen in my entire life. They are large. Like one. They got, got good body. Oh my god, really? If you can manage to get it into your trunk, sure. Alright. Oh, I can't even get it out of the ground. Yeah, they're real difficult. Uh, oh well, I, they're your pumpkins. I don't want to take your pumpkin anyway. Maybe I'll deliver them sometime. That'd be great. What do you charge for the pumpkin? Uh, it depends. Usually, uh, depending on the size, since they are rather large, uh, ten to twenty dollars. Well, that's not bad. That's mm. not bad at all. Yeah. I bet most people would would charge like five hundred. No. 
No, it's not that uh, not that expensive. I mean, your right. burger is fifty dollars. Right. Mr. Barnes. Yes, sir. Are you a religious man? Um, I went to Sunday school a lot. Do you believe uh, what you were told? Well, see, I always had trouble because, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I did, but uh, you know, be, be good to your neighbor and whatnot. Like that's kind of what I agree with. I didn't really, um, honestly, I didn't really pay too much attention. I feel bad for it because, you know, you're supposed to, uh, you know, you're supposed to get saved so that you can go to heaven when you die, right? Right. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of missed that opportunity. So that's also one of the reasons why my dad was always disappointed because he was a will, religious guy. I see. But, yeah, I think, you know, love your neighbor as you should love yourself and whatnot. I think that's a great thing, right? Agreed. It's a good mantra to live by. Your father, he was a, a difficult man to please, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But, uh... You know, it's okay, I guess. Uh... We had, we had a house, you know, well, more like, I mean, it was a town home, you know, but, uh, we had shelter, we weren't homeless, we ate. Right. Pasta and, and, and noodles and spaghetti and tortellini. And despite your father letting you know of it, he saw you as a disappointment, you're still cheery in pursuing your dreams well i mean why not no i'm uh i'm saying it's an admirable quality oh okay well, thank you do you uh did you chase your dreams it's difficult but i'm working on it tired of that oh sorry sorry someone on your radio yeah 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 is that like a, a taxi line that you all have or something um sort of it's uh just a, a company i work for uh they do security and parking lot stuff ah uh, yeah steel security that's why, yeah, you know. Yes, I know them. Are they good people, or? Uh, it depends on who you talk to. Some people they screw over. Some people they're good with. Uh, it's difficult. Well, it seems like everybody's screwing each other over in this town. Mm. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, weird question. Sure. Got any food? Uh, I do, actually. Sure, here. How much do you want for it? Oh, that's alright, you take it. You said you weren't... Thank you. ...religious, more as... ...a man of good morals. Do you believe yeah. in an afterlife? Oh, like, uh... Say if you were to see a ghost or something. Well, I mean, ghosts aren't in an afterlife, right? That's uh, kind of, it's like limbo. And then like they're stuck here and waiting to go to the afterlife. You know, when I bought this house, they told me just up the way over on a ridge at a certain time of day, you can see a woman sitting off the coast. She's screaming floating there is a white apparition a real life white lady story uh, I don't know the full story behind it or how she came to be deceased but 
She exists, from what I've been told. I've never actually been up that way. Have you ever looked out there, though? I haven't. You said you haven't been there, but have you ever looked? Yeah, I haven't properly. I'd like to, though. Well, when when does it happen? At night? Or, like, on full moons? or? I'm not sure exactly. I mean, you want to check it out later? I could check it out right now if you'd like, if you have the time. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, you hear about white lady stories all over the place, right? But to get the chance to actually see one. Right. I love ghost stories. Oh, good. Congratulations, sir. You have upgraded to first class. Please make sure your glove compartment is closed at all times. Will do, Mr. Barnes. This is a bumpy wallet. I'm sorry about this time. going straight to that cliff or if your taxi cab can make it i don't want to force you oh this this is a tank we can make anything so how long ago did you uh move into the house oh, it's a few years now it's about uh three if i'm not mistaken Okay, alright. That's a long time. It is. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Yeah, it is. We can walk from here, really. Okay, alright. I wish I had an emergency break in this thing. It should be alright. I'll follow you. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm not sure which one of these ridge lines. It might be this one, quite frankly. I don't know if it's steep. Do watch your step. We. I'm a superhero. What do you make of the ocean, PD? Uh, it's absolutely terrifying. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. Yeah, deep, dark, endless void. Yeah. Uh, you know how? I mean, honestly. Like, I like ghost stories and all, but monsters actually exist in the water. Like, there are real monsters in there. It's, right. like, people ask me all the time, would you rather see underwater or go to space? I'm like, put me in space. Put me in space, because we ain't got no clue what's out there. But right. the water, we still ain't got no clue, but we do know that there are monsters. Agreed. Water is terrifying. Yeah. So, I guess scuba diving's off the uh, bucket list then. It's funny. I uh, I acquired a scuba tank not too long ago, and thought to myself, "Ooh, hell yeah, we can go scuba diving!" And I thought, "Wait, I'm never gonna use this ever." All right. <clears throat> You want it? No, I'm quite all right. I appreciate it. I don't think I'll be going anytime soon. No, yeah, fair enough. Oh, wow. Sounded like that guy just hopped my car. <laughs> I believe he did. He's riding back down to my house. Is that your son? No, I don't know him. I think the second scariest thing is heights. This is actually uh, a pretty terrible spot. 
I mean, yeah. it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's it's pretty, but but a nightmare. So you don't go like uh, you don't go boating or jet skiing or anything. For the most part, no. I have a boat, but I don't get out on it often. PD. Yes. What do you think happens to you after you die? Uh. Well, I don't know. I don't really think about that much. Um, but what I would like to think is whatever you wanted most in life is what you get when you die. That's a very optimistic way of thinking. Well, I mean, you're already dead, right? Like, what's it going to change? Who cares? Uh, I mean, you're going to hell and whatnot. I don't understand it. Why? Because you, you're already dead. So, why not? I mean, it's kind of like a dream world, right? Why not just have whatever you want? I don't know. I don't think about it. You know why? Because I will live forever. P.D. Barnes, the immortal. I'm a superhero. Is that right? That's right. I just haven't discovered my powers yet. You think the powers will have to do something with a train? Oh, how great would that be? It would be great, wouldn't it, P.D.? Be the best train driver of all time. Never need. I don't know. I don't even know what powers you could do it with that. Your train never needs repairs. You never need to stop. You can just keep going and going for all time. Maybe a flying train. A never-ending train. A never-ending train. That sounds nice, Petey. Would you Hell like? Oh yeah. Would you like that? I would love it. I'm glad to hear that. Put those together, oh. Petey. Do me a favor. I want you to imagine that train. Okay. Where would it fly? Right. Uh, higher than any twain has ever flown before. What places would you see, PD? All the places. I see. If you would, uh, just hand me your things. You have, you can have whatever you want. Just don't put me in the water. Oh, don't worry. You'll be just fine. What would your dad think of you right now, PD? Um, that's a really difficult question. Uh, he'd probably say, why didn't you turn around? Why did you twice this to Angel? Would he berate you again? Oh, probably. Yeah. Would he call you a disappointment? Yeah. Yeah, he would. And your mother, if she was to find out that you died, 
What would she make of that? It would break her heart. So your mother in tears, and your father, the ultimate disappointment. A failed superhero riding a train in the sky. What if the train's in the sky? How do you feel? Let's hope there is one. You see, PD, I am a religious man. There is a god. His name is Death. It is unfortunate that you met him today. Jinji said role playing with Norman was a wet dream of his realized. <laughs> I love Jinji. He's a good sport. Uh, and he's a, an incredible role player. So I, uh, when I saw Petey, it was. Listen, Norman's an opportunistic killer. Petey has been incredibly uh, sweet. Plus, taxi, taxi cab drivers are always the best. They're talkative, they like meeting new people, and they're usually pretty naive, unfortunately. So. being said I'm 
I'm keeping the ID, I'm afraid. Cougar Norman, Roar, Norman's Kitty Ears, Norm Meown Bones, Neormon, PD is dead, woo. Poor PD Barnes, poor PD, rip PD. Fucking idiots. <laughs> What's this? I'm so happy he got a, a Norman kill on his birthday. No. I know Cute. he loves Norman more than anything. And uh I'm I'm super glad that he got a kill that I think he would find to be organic. Um, because I know he's talked about how Oh, don't be wholesome right now, you son of a bitch. Some of Norman's kills they like make it pretty obvious that they know what's going on. Um and it kind of puts him out of the moment. So I really hope that uh, that he fucking found that to be organic and satisfying for his birthday. Ow. Ow. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. That was very sweet of you, Gingy. Thank you. Ow. It was. It was. It was yes. You fuck. How ironic is that we have to take a train all the way back to town, even though Petey Burns was, he loved trains. 